Thank you, Chair. Mm -hmm. uh, dear colleagues, uh, Commissioner, the report of the cross-border portability is a great step forward to the digital single market. With the increased mobility of Europeans and the abolishment of roaming charges, it was a logical step. The creation of this legal fiction will ensure that all Europeans who travel to another member state will have access to the content they have paid for in their own country. It abolished borders for all kinds of online services that many people use, be it for music, e-books or movies. Our work is, however, still not finished. Access to content across the entire European Union is still not possible. I, as a consumer, cannot gain access to the French version of Netflix unless I am resident in France. Uh, the access to European works across the entire EU is still limited. Uh, this is not the only point where the goal of digital single market is not reached. At this point, we are regulating the Internet through different directives and regulations. In practice, this is a real problem. Most of the legislation which is adopted in this House is handled by different committees and there is a lack of cooperation and com communication. As a result, the outcome is completely contradictory sometimes. There is a real lack of legal certainty. It is unclear whether the e-commerce directive prevails or how the relationship works between portability, copyright, AVMS and InfoSoc. There should be clear coherence when, the, when we regulate the Internet and not an approach which consists of bits and pieces. The portability directive is a success, but the outcome will not be the same in other digital files. We have to stay focused on our uh, digital single market goals. Thank you.